Thank you for calling the United States White House. Please listen closely for the following options have changed. For customer service, please press 1. For our policy regarding foreign military threats, please press 2. For nuclear launch codes, please press 3. For President Biden's current psychiatric records, please press 4. To speak with President Biden, please press 5. Your estimated wait time is less than one minute. Yo, this is Joe. Hey, Mr. President, it's Kerry West and welcome back to my photography channel. Oh, hey, what's up, bro? Hey, so I was calling about that video I shot in Denver the other day about the alien. I just wanted to make sure I could upload that. Yeah, that's cool. Are you sure? I mean, this could have a, a huge impact on all of humanity. Yeah, I don't give a shit. Listen, I gotta get back to beer pong. I almost got this chick to take her top off. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm gonna upload it. Yeah, whatever. Hey! You guys can't be in my mom's room. She'll kill me. Well, guys, it's official. Um, aliens exist. And they shoot Leica. This is a portrait of a photographer, episode three, featuring an alien known as Liam Gordon. Um, I'm spacing on his home planet. Let me see if I have it here. Scotland. So Liam is another one of these guys who have been doing street photography for quite some time. And uh, I think I'm drawn to these guys because their style is, is so much different than mine. What draws them to a scene is different than what draws me to a scene. Um, their images come out looking very different than mine. And I think that's really interesting. You know, I'm doing these videos as, because it's fun, but also uh, as a learning experience for me and anybody watching. So Rudy tagged along again uh, with us, which was awesome. It's, it's always really fun when we get together. So uh, yeah, it was just a really good day. We had uh, a lot of fun just clowning around. This is a bit of a longer video, but if you don't know, YouTube has a history button and you can come back and watch a video later. So if you feel like complaining about a long video on YouTube, just don't be a baby about it and treat it like any other platform like Netflix. So anyway, I'll stop babbling on. Let's jump into this. I hope you guys enjoy. So when did you move here? Uh, just over a year ago, uh, May, end of May, 2020. We, really, we didn't think we were gonna move in the middle of a bloody pandemic, but. All right, I can't believe you were able to. Philly was like shut down. Um, it was like when everything was bad, still in New York. Yeah. And we like left, packed everything up, we had managed to find, there was enough space in the middle of the truck for the dog. It is 70 pound pit bull wedged in the front of a U-Haul. Yeah, drove 1500 miles, stopped as few Jeez. times as we could. When did you move when did you move out of Scotland then? 2016. Okay. So you've been here for a few years then. Yeah, I like first came over here in 2011, worked on a summer camp, came back, broke my collarbone the next year so I didn't come back. Came back 2013 and worked on another camp. That's where I met my wife. Then we were back and forth for a while and that's how I ended up. Do you photography that whole time? No. No? No. I started working I mean, I had a camera, but I wasn't like... Serious about I it? I wasn't paying attention. Right. I bought my first camera when I did my 2011 trip over here, because I was like, working on a camp in, in the mountains in Pennsylvania, I should have a camera. And I, I literally took about 20 shots and it broke. It was a Nikon something. Nikon was... APS-C something? Yeah, yeah, it probably wasn't even APS-C. It was probably just like a little shit sensor. Oh, like a little point shoot Because it was like one of those super zoom ones. It was only like 250 bucks or something at yeah. the time. So it wasn't like, I thought I was spending good money on a camera, but. Right, and that's what trash. everybody thinks. And when they realize that like, it doesn't take any better pictures than their phone, then they're yeah. like, well, fuck this. I'm not going to get a real camera. And I, I, I knew nothing. I, yeah. After that camera broke, I didn't have another camera until 2013. And I got my granddad's film camera. Oh, okay. Um, so you went the other way around. Someone I met in, on my first trip had a film camera and I always thought it was cool. This lady with a hat. Oh, could be interesting. Yeah. Point, 
point three cameras at her, four or five to... cameras at her. <laughs> Dear God, we're not doing video or anything. <laughs> so you don't have to lie straight to her face. <laughs> It's one thing, like, it's, it's hard, in America, it's really hard to, like, find those really old buildings, you know? Like, yeah. you have to go to Europe for that shit, for sure. But American like old is. buildings have their own character, they're, like, cinematic to look yeah. at. But, like, those, like, buildings that have been standing for a thousand years, you know? Like, there's just nothing like that here. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's less interesting to photograph to me. Really? The old, really old stuff? Yeah, because yeah. it, it's, like, it's, like, architecture, I guess, but... Yeah, well, I like the American stuff because it's just got this, like, I don't know, it looks like it's not going to be there for much longer. Something about it, maybe just because I've never been to Europe. That it's, really that's like probably it. exactly what it is. Like, yeah. my, my wife comes to Scotland, she's like, it's so beautiful and it's quaint and interesting and I couldn't give a shit. Whenever it's sunny, I'll, I like finding like patches of light like this. And even I even wonder if this is kind of a crutch sometimes. Like I'll just rely on this. Oh, I came up last time. It was like beautiful when I arrived, and then it stayed cloudy the whole yeah. day. Yeah. And then just as I was leaving, it came back out again. Yeah, it does that to me all the time. Coming here though. It could just be someone walking through, but I want them to like pick their nose or drink or like, you know, when everybody was wearing masks, they would like, I got a lot of people like gesturing to like fix their mask. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people were like, I'm not taking any pictures because people are wearing masks. Yeah, that's weird. I'm like, well, that's fine. So that, that that's great. Like, that means... That's the way the street is right now. So yeah, you might the as well way it is. I, I was, in my head, I was just like, more chance I get a good, yeah. something good of that. I'm like photographing the back of people's heads. <sighs> Sun just went away as well. I don't know if I can see it inside. I've just stole your shot though. I got like one really, like a shot that I really liked here and I always keep coming back to it, but I don't think I'll ever, I'll probably I'll never improve on it that much. So you go do, I think you do like little missions. Cool. And Nice. Yeah. yeah, I work right there, so. Oh, oh interesting. Fun. You can just peek out and see it. I will actually I'm on the other side. Oh, so I can see it. I came out. I got like, you. I'm like, whoa, Blue Ranger type of thing. Yeah. And then <laughs> people peeping in. Oh. Oh, they lock them in and don't let them go. go. That's yeah. The thing. yeah. <laughs> Can't leave until you finish this keg. Yeah. Oh, it's like a I'm sorry. I'm putting his glasses on. Oh, it's too slow. Sorry. I annoyed this freaking patchy cloud. So how do you like that Leica over your Fuji stuff? I'm undecided yet. Yeah. It's more fun, maybe? Or like it just has a feeling and it might also just be my own bias because I know that, I mean, don't, don't get me wrong, I would still, if anyone, if anyone was asking what camera they should get, I would not ever recommend to buy a Leica. Yeah, if, if you don't know what Leica is, you don't need a Leica. Yeah.
I'm always bad for like, I see a corner looking busy further away. And then when I get there, I realize yeah. it was probably just the distance yeah. and I was seeing people. Yeah. It's like hitting the buffer on the camera there, so fucking not taking the photo. Someone's pissed on that tree. Yeah. Do you mind if I ask where you're from? Scotland. Scotland. So yeah. I actually last, not last, but in 2019, um, I actually spent a month in Scotland. Oh, no way. Um, that's kind of why I asked. Like, I was picking up the accent. But, sure. <laughs> um, yeah, with Scotland, let me tell you, pretty, I mean, in terms of the wildlife and like bugs and stuff, pretty tame compared yeah. to like some of the camping I've done in the United States is like just gross. Mosquitoes are yeah, just gross. Yeah. Yeah. I ended up having like basically. Basically, Sorry. like. No, you're all good. <laughs> I got distracted um, for a second. Now, my dad wouldn't have had a shirt on. <laughs> so, join my cult. Is that what he's saying? That's what the, 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 the science says. At least he's honest. Well, yeah. It's fair. Everybody's avoiding him though. <laughs> yeah, of course. Who's gonna walk up to him like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> What's that? What, what did you have to say, sir? So what, yeah. what do to, how do we sign cult? up? Cult, interesting. Yeah. Do you have a phone number or an email address? I wonder if you can like register a cult. It's like, <laughs> yeah, like, he's signed, join my cult. <laughs> registered insured <laughs> LLC. Cult. Yeah. Right dresses. Hey, Matt, how are you doing? It's crazy how many like things I see and then I can't get to it in time so I miss yeah, it. But then yeah, I think about like how many things are happening yeah. around me that I don't see yeah. that I'm I could sure. get to in time. Yeah. <laughs> so I've just like move slow and hope it ha hope something happens yeah. near yeah. you. Someone in red to squeeze past here. be really nice is if someone with like a love heart shirt comes past. I'm mad I found my frame but I didn't get it. There was a bunch of people in red came past I didn't have the frame until afterwards. Try to get the veil. <laughs> Best this corner's ever been. No, no. This fucking balloon. This is great. But the sun's coming from there, and I don't. I don't. I try not to backlight. I don't know why. I just have a, like a aversion to backlight and stuff. Yeah, it makes things a lot harder. Oh, he's already on it. Damn it. I hate when this side. It's probably. I mean, anytime you've got a camera pointed, people walk around you. But when there's three of us, yeah, yeah, they're being polite. It's okay if they just don't want to be in it, that's cool. I get more sorries than I do, yeah, yeah. like, don't take my picture. Inflatable uh, um, thing for the river, he's like this. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah. Oh. I'm breaking my, my code. Yeah. Well, that's that scene over. <laughs> Summertime in Colorado, I guess. It says drizzle for 26 minutes. I would say this is pissing down. Do you see Dante's new video? No. The golden hour one? It's freaking amazing. The light looks so good. Is that in Denver? No, in Philly. In Philly yeah. I always like watching his stuff because he's like, it's all familiar spots. Yeah. And yeah, it that, makes yeah. me kind of miss Philly. There was a girl over there like, in like summer clothes, completely soaked, holding two cups of Starbucks or oh, something. Man. Just like, uh. 
I mean, if the camera's weather sealed, or, I used to, I'd go out and like drizzle when I lived in Philly. Yeah. I'd wait for it to be like nighttime and drizzly, and it was all it can't be like 50 degrees, and you just put your jacket on, it's fine. I mean, you can buy those little bags, though. I don't know oh, what you're going to do with it. They're, they're a pain, but <laughs> it's worth it. Oops. Sorry, it wasn't fast enough for you guys to get on the you. <laughs> oh, that was me. Oh, that's nice. I like yeah, that. I like that guy in there. He was good looking back. All right, guys. So at this point, I decided to head home. Uh, my back is a little baby pussy, and when I shoot video, I have to take a backpack, and it just it means that my run time has to be a little bit short. But luckily, Liam had his GoPro running, so he got some more really cool shots once the sun came back out. So we're gonna pop on his uh, GoPro footage and go over those images as we outro this video. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Liam also has a YouTube channel that I'll link down below. It's a really great channel. He does a lot of really cool street photography and stuff like that as well as theory. So make sure you check that out and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, you Umbrella shadow. <laughs> oh yeah, that's, that's great. Oh yeah, I got the Fuji because Eddie did, and then they're like, yeah. shit, I need to get rid of it, get a GR3. <laughs> shit, I need a Leica Q. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean back to the Fuji? <laughs> Lift it higher. And get the outline. Oh. Yeah, I, oh, I got it. There's a ton of people there now. <laughs> it's alright.